Hey friends, today we're gonna to be drawing Stitch just in time for Christmas. Hey party people, welcome to Party Create. You know, Lilo and Stitch is one of my all time favorite animated movies. And because we're so close to Christmas, we're gonna draw Stitch ripping into some presents. So grab a piece of paper, grab some pencils, and let's get started. To begin, we're gonna start with a circle shape for his head. The key to a good circle is using your whole arm, not just your wrist, in a circular motion until you hit the paper. All right, Leo, I hear you have a pro tip for faces. Oh yeah, when you're drawing faces, the best way to get a face just right is to use guides. We'll make one down the middle and one across. When you're having your character look one way or the other, because a face is a round shape, that line will follow the curve of the circle just like this. Thanks, Leo. All right, we're gonna put a guiding line down the center of his face. Since he's looking to the right, it's gonna follow the curve to that direction. We'll erase this later, but it gives us a good guide to work with on where to put his nose, eyes, and mouth. He's gonna be looking down at his present, so the line across his face is gonna bend like a smile. To draw his body, we're gonna use a rectangle shape since Stitch is a blocky little dude. Because in this drawing he's leaning forward to look at the present, we're actually gonna stretch and bend that rectangle just to the right. His body is just a little bit longer than the size of his head and gets bigger towards the bottom. All right, let's sketch in his legs. He's sitting on the ground, so they'll be moving to the right too. They're going to look like rounded rectangles at first until we put in the details. At the ends of each leg, we'll make circles. These will be his feet. Just a reminder, if we're going too fast, you can always press pause. To get his arms, we'll start with his shoulders. These are small circles just under his head on the left and right. From that shape, we'll make a curved line downward for his left arm. The bottom of his arm will be just above his leg. His hand will be another circle shape just out in front of his feet since he's leaning forward. His right arm will have the same direction but just further out in front of him. His legs and arms are similar in length and we'll make another circle for his right hand. Let's start on the present. I think we have another pro tip from Leo. Yep. To make a box look 3D, start with three straight lines down, equal distance from each other. Draw a dot on the top of the outside lines, and then on the center line, you'll make a dot just slightly lower. The center line will be lower than the outside lines. Now, connect the dots. And at the bottom, you'll do the exact same thing. All right, to make the top 3D, you'll follow the same angle from the bottom lines on the opposite side and meet in the middle just above the top line. Thanks, Leo. No problem, Mr. Tom, glad to help. Our box will look a little more squished than this example as we're looking at Stitch from a little lower. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the face. His nose is almost a rounded diamond shape centered along the line going down the middle. His mouth is below and runs almost to the sides of his face. He's got a pretty big mouth. His eyes are ovals, but the inside of his eyes actually have a flat line going straight down. You can always look at different photos of Stitch to help you get him just right. All right, now my favorite part, the ears. They start at the sides of his face and run straight up with a curve on both. When you draw the outsides of each ear, they'll follow the same curve, but swing further out on either side, just like this. When they reconnect to his head, it'll be lower than the original line. Draw in the ear flaps on either side and those cute little notches. To draw in his Christmas hat, I'm going to do a rectangle over his eyes and then sketch the hat above. 
It's going to curve down and run down the back of his left shoulder behind his ear with the poofy thing at the end. Is poofy thing a technical term? No, Leo, it's not a technical term. Anyways, add in the rest of the poofiness along the hat and on his collar. To draw his hand, sketch three small circles on the end to draw in his knuckles. You'll connect them in and out and in and out, and then draw Stitch's claws at the ends of them. Wrapped around his waist is that last little poofy bit from his coat. For his feet, we'll do three circles just like the knuckles on his hand, but in the opposite direction since he's sitting. His claws will go out to the left and we'll be able to see the bottom of his feet. Lastly, I'll put in the little details on the present, his bow, and finally his teeth, which are not super sharp, but more like half circles. And there you have it, you got your sketch. And now for my favorite part. Let's get started with the ink. You can use a marker, a pen, a pen brush, whatever you're using. This will help you get the best lines and really make it pop. I'm gonna go slowly through and draw over the entire thing. This is where I'm gonna focus on details like fur or wrinkles or even the texture on his hat. For his eyes, I'm gonna color them in completely, but I'm gonna leave a white spot just to show the highlights. This will help his eyes really look cool. I'm gonna put in those nose wrinkles between the eyes, and I'm also darkening in the nostrils. Once you're done, let it dry for a minute or two, and then go back in and erase your sketch. And now it's time for the last part, to color. For the shadows, I'm not using black, but colors that work well with what I've already put in purples for the shadows on his red coat, and darker blues and purples again for the shadows on his skin. Using cool colors like blue and purple can help you get a really, really cool shadow effect. There you have it, a Christmas stitch. Ohana means family. Family means nobody, nobody gets left behind. Or forgotten. Yeah. Well, hey, I had a ton of fun drawing stitch with you today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe so that you can check out more Party Create videos in the future. Until next time, Merry Christmas, party people.